Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite. Welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Today we are taking on Tony Stark Mountain. And that is going to take the form of... And um, I'm looking at this... I'm looking at the Strength Builder and this looks a lot like an exit and not an entrance. Unless I can somehow push the boulder down the stairs. Which maybe I can. Can I push the boulder down the stairs? Oh, I can. All right. Well, I was going to say, is there another entrance to this cave? But apparently not. You can just push the boulder down the stairs. That's fun. <clears throat> Pretty sure that was not a thing you could do in the original games. Let's see. So I have a, a, a nagging feeling that the legendary heat train can be found at the bottom of this uh, of this mountain. How many Pokemon balls do I have? Um... Pokeballs are over here. I have 22 Ultra Balls, 10 Dust Balls, 10 Premier Balls. Okay. Um, hopefully that is enough to catch myself a Legendary Heatran should I want to. Uh, here we have a classic boulder pushing puzzle. Uh, three three boulders in a row. Hit the two on the sides and then you can push the one in the middle off um, to one of the sides. Up here is a bottle of PowerPoint up. Um, I have a bunch of those. I should probably use some of them one of these days because... Uh, I'm pretty sure my, my move sets are getting close to being finalized. I don't believe there are many moves left for me to learn on my uh, on my monsters by level up or in general. Okay. Is that um oh that's 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 Waffle. I was gonna say there's supposed to be uh, one of those follower NPCs in here, isn't there? Aren't there? Um the uh, Buck, I think was his name. I'm not good with names. What what do you want? Let's see. Let's push that part of the way. Then we could circle the boulder via the stairs and get this item ball. This is a full restore. Okay. Never hurts to have some of those on hand. And let's go deal with the waffle. What was that all about? Oh, hey, Dragon Eye. That buck guy wiped the floor with us. So what do you mean we don't get to battle? Oh, man. There are always tough trainers around everywhere. But you know what? Losing means I have room to become even tougher. That's why there's the battle tower in the battle zone. And, alright, that's just basically a sponsored post for the battle zone. Um, I do see double battle down there that does suggest that there is going to be an NPC who's going to follow me around. Um, Buck, Mr. Ponytail. Hey, Dragonite, right? Your buddy challenged me to a battle earlier. Yeah, I own the little dude. Made sure he was taught a lesson. I'm not going to say anything. John, I hope you're watching this, but I don't know if I could beat him again next time. Seriously, you're bound to run into skilled trainers wherever you go. Anyway, I found out about this place, but the Pokemon here are tough. What do you say we team up and go together? So, I was not actually given a say in the matter, but we're going to team up with Buck. And he is going to, as, as all the follower NPCs do, make sure my team stays healthy. Um, <clears throat> quite considerate of him. If I recall, Stark Mountain is fairly large. Um... I'm gonna try to get through Stark Mountain, or at least the main part of it, Legendary Heatran notwithstanding, in a, in a single video, but um, if this place is as as large as I remember it being, that might not be the case. So Monique and Ab Monique and Abel, I thought that said Monique and Absol um, momentarily, but you're gonna send out a Kangaskhan and an Aerodactyl, so those are two fine Kanto Pokemon. Um, I only was able to get the Intimidates off on the Aerodactyl because... Oh, Kangaskhan has Scrappy. Instead of, um... What's the one really good ability that Kangaskhan was given in, uh... I think Gen 5. It had a fancy hidden ability. Was it, like, Normalize or something? Did it gain access to Normalize? Its Megaform obviously has a bit of a, a gimmicky uh, custom ability. Um, signature ability, I guess you would call it, that, that allows its Kangas Kid to also get an, uh, a hit, but... Anyway, uh, Kangaskhan is going to go use Outrage on the Claydol. That's not going to do anything, because Claydol is immensely, immensely physically bulky. Uh, Ancient Power is probably not going to do much either, because Kangaskhan is also immensely, immensely physically bulky. But, <clears throat> let's see. Darwin's going to use Waterfall. We shall see if this is enough to take the Kangaskhan out. It is. I think I'm almost level 70. Am I level 70 yet? I think some of my team is level 70. Darwin's only level 68. But anyway, 10 level advantage. Uh, Kangaskhan is not going to uh, not going to make a stand against that. 
you are going to send in a Nursa Ring, and... Alright, so, for whatever reason, the second the second trainer had two Pokemon, the first trainer only had one. No matter, we'll make quick work of the Ursa Ring. That is going to one-shot you. And Ursa Ring has gone down. Alright. Monique and Abel. You out of useful items. Well, items aren't really going to help you if your entire team is going to get one-shotted just constantly. Okay. Boy, this... I was wondering if they were going to, like, either shrink this place a little bit. Oh, I can't use Rock Climb when I'm with Buck. Or if maybe this, this Stark Mountain place wasn't as big as I remembered it being, and I just... My memory was a little exaggerated, but nope, this place is huge. All right. There is no way there is not a hidden item up here. Unless, unless there isn't. All right, no idea why, no idea what's up there. Um, <clears throat> I think if I go towards the end of the cave with Buck, uh, he will, he will leave me faster. And I'm debating whether that's something I want, because on the one hand, having someone who heals your Pokemon is nice. On the other hand, the clay doll used by, by Buck is not going to be dishing out heaps and heaps of damage. And uh, I'm, I'm just debating with myself whether I want the, the healing of having a, having a follower NPC following me around and healing me after every battle. That's an Iron Ball. That will double your Pokemon's weight. Make them, I believe it will make them go slower. And um, you can check it out. You can check it out opponents to do lots and lots of Dark type damage if you have the move throw. Um, or fling, rather, as it's called. Let's see. If I get to the end, and, and if Buck decides to leave, then that's that's his choice. I'll, I'll just fight on my own. Uh, first, let us take care of this veteran and this dragon tamer. Okay, so there is a legendary Pokemon in here. Thank you for confirming that. We are three battles into this video, and I've already reached the point where I'm just mindlessly mashing the A button in combat. Alright, excellent. So there's an item ball back there. There is, uh, I want to say, somewhere in the vicinity of, vicinity of back, alright, the, um, the room with the legendary in it is going to be through that door, however, however I get there. If, I, uh, if I'm able to find a way to get there sooner rather than later, I will not object. Um, and also because if I no longer have Buck following me around, that means I'll be able to actually descend the, uh, uh, the rock climb walls instead of having to come back for them later, so that's also that would also be nice. Okay. I can use... can I use uh, strength when I have a follower? I think I can. Alright, um, there were two ace trainers there. If I can get into this, uh, this little ditch that's right, right up here, I'm pretty sure 
that would mean I can I can advance, which I think I will. I will try to try to get there quickly, so that I can ditch Buck and then be on my way. Uh, moving right along, uh, yes, 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 another repel, please. Moving right along, up. I think this should lead me down a stairs, and then I can go up a stairs, and then I can go into the door here, and then we can be free of Buck. All right. Sounds good to me. So let's, let's use strength here, and was that not already activated? I thought I already pushed a strength boulder um, in this room in, in Stark Mountain, but I guess not. So, honestly, I feel like it would be less work if you just if you just got up on your little legs and tried to climb over it, guys. All right, there we go. So we're at the end, and Buck is gonna. That's the exit. My instincts tell me that the volcano's treasure is just ahead of us. He might be the toughest there is besides me. See you around. He's gonna go and go and run off. I am not gonna go and run off. I am going to keep the, uh, the strength effect activated so that I don't have to activate it again if I want to push something else around. And now I can explore Stark Mountain in peace. Okay. Let's see. First, let me double back and see who, what, where, when, and why I missed anything. Uh, starting with the, uh, the rock climb walls. And... This looks like... Uh, thank you for the repel. This looks like it should create a little shortcut. Somewhere where I could have been earlier. Alright, this is a bottle of calcium. Thank you very much. And by the way, before I get into battle, let me just check. Uh, Darwin and Kepler are my 1-2. That's fine. I'm looking for an excuse to use Kepler anyway. Honestly, any member of my team besides probably uh, Franklin can probably dish out more than the, uh, than the clay doll was doing, but... Um, Never mind. So we're gonna take on take on these two. You have a bird. I have a bird. This is gonna sound a little crazy, but I was kind of hoping that I would get poisoned by uh, Brulum's Effect Spore. I assume that Brulum was carrying Effect Spore because that seems to be the most, the more common ability. I don't know if it had Technician prior to Gen 5. Um, and activate like the buff on Facade, but honestly, Facade isn't a terrible move, even without the buff, if you have same type of attack bonus. Um, and I am so many levels stronger than everything else in here that it really doesn't matter. Um, let's see, this was, this is the way to the other room, isn't it? Yeah, okay, don't want to go there. See, what else? So I see some ace trainers down, uh, I think at the bottom of these stairs. Yes, please, I told you this area was big. And if I rock climb down this way, nothing. Alright, that's cool. 
Nothing hidden in the wall either. This area is just here to waste my time. Um, there is, though, some just intrinsic satisfaction in pulling off strategies like deliberately poisoning yourself and triggering the effect spore, but it's really not that important. All right. Let me fight these two ace trainers, and then we can go down these stairs to find the item. I must be dedicated. Sun boosted, same type attack bonus. Um, what else? Flamethrower. Sun boost is a. Uh, oh, it was also a critical hit. Was the other boost? Uh, sun boost is thirty percent. Same type attack. Same. Mm, same type attack bonus is uh, fifty percent. Um, critical hit is also, I believe, fifty percent in this in this generation. That's a lot. Anyway, let's see. Was there anything else down here? Smashing the A button. Yes, please. Smashing the A button. And there's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think for now, I will let Kepler uh, stay stay down, take a nap for a bit. Um, by the time... Flame plate. All right, hidden in the wall. Uh, by the time I get to actually going into the room with the legendary Pokemon in it, I, uh, I think I will actually revive Kepler so that I can go in with a full team, but no rush. Did I go up this rock climb wall yet? It looks like... Okay, I did. That's just gonna go and go the long way around. I think this is the last pair of trainers in this entire place. Uh, meaning that I can push this boulder aside. Just give it a nice kick, shout who's boss, uh, and fight these two, and then be on my way. Uh, there's also the rock climb wall. There's also the rock climb wall on the, uh, all the way on the right side of the room that I was not able to go up earlier, because Buck, I uh, will go back there before I end the video. And I think that's it for trainers in here. So that is TM50 Overheat. That is a 140 power fire type move that will lower the user's special attack by two stages upon use. It's basically the fire type Draco Meteor. Um, I don't think I have anything that really cares to learn it though, because all of my uh, my fire attackers, and by that I mean, I mean Sun Wukong the Monkey King is uh, physical oriented and I don't think using a uh, special attack will really, really be of all that much use. Okay. So this isn't the way back. Let me let me quickly go all the way over to the right side of the room and use. Oh, there's a thing down there. Oh, that's right. There's a, there's another rock climb wall, possibly several. Yeah, this one right here. All right. So I'm going to just slide down this, and I'm going to pick up a, a max repel. I'm going to pick up a max elixir. 
It would have been funny if I'd said a Max Repel just because that was the text that appeared on the screen and then what was actually in the Pokeball was a Max Repel. That would have been funny. Okay. Uh, I think the last thing for me is over, over this way. Although I will just double check to make sure that there's nothing in the bottom left. On the, the bottom right, rather. Um, what did I pick up? I've already forgotten. I can't really say I've forgotten. It's more like I was never paying attention to what I picked up in the first place, but let's see. Down here, this is a very, very long, long cave. Uh, nothing. Okay. So I am going to uh, go to the end of this room. I am going to end this video off here. And next time, there may have been something there, but I probably picked it up already. Uh, we shall be going into the room with the, with the legendary Heatran. I assume it's going to be Heatran anyway. It could always be something else. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all later.